Hi, welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Jill, and today we're going to discuss the keypad. Um, I'm going to give you my thought on it and the reason why we're going to relocate it. So, my thought on this is this is the 2021 Bronco Badlands. Now, if you have picked a keyless entry pad like this here, it will be black. That's it. The next year, the 2022 model year, they came body colored, which is great because it blended into the color. Why, and I, I pondered this a lot and I haven't figured out an answer, but how come they couldn't integrate it into this panel here? My Badlands has it on the door. Granted, it has a pillared door. This is a frameless door. This is your door. But we have a pillar here that's nice and flat that this could have integrated to because it's essentially the same material. I just don't know why they just didn't do that. I just, to me, it would have made it look a lot cleaner, but what do I know? <laughs> Another reason that we're going to relocate this is because I'm going to eventually put a stripe. Now we will show you here in a second by we, I mean me and the camera will show you that uh, we started a stripe just as an example to see how we would like it if I wanted to change the color, if I wanted to change the layout and the style of it. But that's on the right or the left quarter as well as the right quarter. So I'll show you both um, when we get to that point. But I want to carry the stripe all the way down to the, you know, the side of the car to give it that little bit of heritage look to it because um, this is very close to a heritage color. I eventually want to change these out for white door handles as well. Um, we're slowly working our way up to that. But we're going to go ahead and relocate this into the fuel door. That way when you close it, you have a really nice clean side. Now, this Bronco here, I can access it multiple ways without this even being here. I have the key, as you know, just a regular fob. And you can just, if you had the passive lock on your doors, you can just touch the handle and it'll open it up and you can get in. You also have a keyhole. You can take your key apart, do it that way. If you have the Ford Pass app, you can access the car from anywhere and access it that way if you needed to, which I've used that app quite often for unlocking and locking my doors. Um, this is just a backup to a backup to a backup. That's all this is. Now, Beast, now Beast has one of these as well, and it's a little bit different, and I'm looking at Beast because he's literally right there. So I'm looking at his keypad. It's actually integrated into the door itself, so it's, it's a lot more flush. So it's wired into that door. Now, granted, Beast is a 2012. This is a 2021. Things grew a lot different. This is pretty much, you know, wireless slash Bluetooth remote. This is how this one works instead of being plugged into an electrical system like how Beast is. Um, so the way that we're going to go ahead and take this off, this is not wired in, like I said. You're going to go ahead and take some fishing line. I already did this prior just to loosen that up, just to show you really quick. Take your fishing line. I would recommend doing gloves if, or wearing gloves if you haven't ever worked with fishing line before and doing this because some of these can get really, really stuck and you're going to be pulling on it a lot and it can cut your hands. So just be careful with that. So wear gloves. If you choose, if you're, you just don't give a damn like me, I don't wear gloves. So you're just going to drag it across. There's like two or three things of double-sided tape in there. Drag it, pull it, it'll loosen it. And there you go. Now this has a cover where... they come apart. That way you can change the batteries or you can paint this or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's how this is. Now we'll get this cleaned up and I'll bring you back a little bit later because it's hotter than Hades out right now. We'll clean this up as best we can. So this is double-sided tape. It's gonna get gummy. So you just wanna get the majority of it off with your fingers as best you can. The rest of it you can take goo gone. And Goo Gone is perfectly safe for the clear coat of the car, so you're not going to hurt it. Um, it might take the wax off. So if you waxed your door, 
you might want to just go ahead and wash this off a little bit with like window cleaner or even soapy water and just just wax this whole door i wouldn't even just do a partial wax i would just degrease and de-wax this one whole particular panel and re-wax it that way you, you don't miss anything but that's just me you got to remember background is in the uh, body shop so i had to make sure my client's cars were perfect for delivery and part of that was fixing things that were missed so i got really good at doing that okay i'm gonna finish this up later but let's go ahead and move you guys to the rear now i have my keypad in pieces here now i'm just going to go ahead and just temporarily stick it just to show you where it's going to be before i clean this up and officially stick it there obviously you want to make sure your numbers are right side up unless you want to be a weirdo then put them upside down i probably won't even need to restick this honestly there's enough tape on it and it's holding rather well i probably won't even restick it boy howdy that's crooked as hell yeah i'm gonna have to restick it there's a lot of grass in there okay so we're just going to temporarily just put this on here yes it's probably going to be a little bit crooked because there's really not a lot of tape holding it on because i cut it off there twice that is how it's going to look so it's going to blend in with the field door pop it open have your keypad right here you can access it close it and nobody be the wiser unless you're watching this video but I'm going to go ahead and remove this and get that all cleaned off. And I will bring you back after I get this removed. I'll do glue off of here as well as the car. Because who wants to see me remove glue, honestly? I'll bring you back. All right, so I have the door cleaned. Let me take you over. It's as good as it's going to get for right now. Um, you can kind of see the outline right here. I have to just basically scrub this door down and re-wax it and it'll be fine. I just take you back to the field door. But before we install it, check what we have. Wow. Pretty. All right, so back to our future presentation. So we're gonna go ahead and pop open this. I did try the code on the door. Okay, so all that you just heard and the lights going off, that's me playing with this off camera that way you don't see my code. So just to prove to you that it works, you just push seven and eight. You guys can see that. And everything's locked. So it does work. Now I got this cleaned up, so it's all flat in the back. There's a couple little, um, there's like a raised part right here, so it kind of goes like that a little bit. But it's mostly flat on the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the protective covering off the Gorilla Tape. And this is really kind of hard to do without nails. So I'm going to do this off camera really quick. That way you guys don't see me struggle. Can I tell you truly the struggle is real with no nails. So we got it off finally. Make sure your numbers are right side up, people, when you do this. <laughs> it would suck if they were upside down. So I'm gonna have to get my head in the way, so just hang on. So let me do the code again. I'm gonna face you guys away for privacy reasons, obviously. And I'm gonna do the code and then I'll bring it back. All right, I'm gonna try and do this quick and explain this because traffic is starting to pick up on my street, so. The driver's side door is programmed to be the only door to unlock when I do the passive door handle, the key code, the key fob, or even the app. I will unlock just the driver's side door. That's how I have it set up in the infotainment center. I do that for safety reasons and I recommend that you do the same. 
to unlock the other doors, you press three, four, and that unlocks everything else. Now, as you know, for those of you that have keypads and have used them before, the 7890 button, if you press them together, will lock all your doors. So that's how you do that. So, 7, 8, 9, and 0. Press them together, locks all the doors. So. But yeah, I like it. It's clean. Um, it's very streamlined. You still have access to your vehicle if you need it, but it's hidden, it's out of the way, especially since because this one isn't body color. It blends in here, so it doesn't really matter. And you can even put it like inside. I would probably put it up here or anywhere it's flat, like even here. I wouldn't put it on the door itself, so that's just me. There's not enough room on the door itself, but I like it. Um, I think it'd be very beneficial later on when we start doing the stripes and making it really clean. You wouldn't even know that option was even there until um, you go to get gas and pop it open and people see it. But that's the whole point. But yeah, I, I like it. I thought this was a really good idea. We seen somebody else do it on YouTube and we're like, wow, okay. One, we were floored that it wasn't wired in like Beast was. And two, we were really surprised that it does work in the fuel door area because I figured that would mess with the mechanism, like the, the bobble, but I guess those days are gone. Because I put a hide a key one time in my fuel door area when I had an older car and it totally tripped out the gauges. <laughs> like, okay, whatever. So I didn't do any of that again. But because there's no magnets involved, I think that it's not going to interfere with anything. But the little hide a key thing that we had in one of my cars, I put it in there and the thing was a giant magnet. I mean, the strip was just as long as that keypad is big. And I put that in there, closed the fuel door, started my car and I see the gas gauge go like this. So I was just like, oh. So I had to move it to another location and my gas gauge straightened out. I don't know what it was, it was weird. I couldn't even tell you what car I did it on. I think it was a truck or one of my old Camaros, but yeah, it was really weird. It's really easy to do. I mean, in real time, in the video, actually in real time without the video, this whole process would take maybe five minutes. Here's the stripe idea for the, the driver's side. If you remember, we have the numbers right there on Ben. We're also going to do the same thing. This, I know it's crooked, so don't even yell at me. It's not gonna stay on here. But this was just an example of, a visual example of what it's going to look like but we cut it out here and then just did the number separate here so i think we're going to have a company do this and i think i would want to stripe further back i'm thinking probably starting them right where this is and wrap it all the way around but i don't know i might just bring it back to this area because the body line's right here and just curve it this way and then just end it down there. So the way I was going to have it stop was come on down and go straight down and end kind of like that maybe. I haven't really decided. I've seen one where it just comes down and just goes straight and stops this way but I don't know. It has this diagonal thing to it. So the ending to this I haven't decided yet. The original design was going to be, it's going to come down and just narrow down, narrow down, narrow down to a point, kind of like how this is. But yeah, uh, I think I'm going to wrap it down this way and some find a way to end that right there. And then this part on the wild tracks, that's black. Let's see if I can get you guys up a little bit. So on the wild tracks, this is black, but I'm gonna do this top part where the ledge is, I think. I don't know if I'm gonna go all the way down to the, the base of it. I might, but this is going to be satin white. So that's gonna be really pretty. It's gonna help with a lot of reflection in the windshield and stuff like that too. Anything satin like that will help with a lot of glare. 
and he's also going to get the same thing um, it's just going to be black and we haven't put the other stripe on the other side yet because we're going to redo it if you guys don't remember we have that stripe over there on it get you guys over here yeah we have all that down there on it so we're going to put that on the other side I don't know if we're going to redo it and redesign it or what but there's that but that concludes the video um, so that we have some idea of what we're planning to do with the vehicles as far as um, graphic design we did try to do some of it ourselves but for this one I think I want a professional to handle it this one we're just going to go ahead and finish doing it on our own we do have a Cricut we can make all the stripes for this that's not a problem and we do have the hood decals we have multiples in case we screw up <laughs> which is excellent all right hope you liked the video um like subscribe hit the notification bell drop a comment down below if you plan on moving your keypad from the door to the fuel door or somewhere else that's easy to get to without you know having a key that's the whole point of having a keypad. But yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.